Yep. Hey. Hey. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Wellness Day stream. Um, today, I'm here. I'm Lara, and I'm here with Alex, and we're both NC State librarians, and we're going to be playing Mario Kart. Yes. Happy Wellness Day. Take some time today, for sure, to yourself. Um, take the day off. Thank you for joining us. Like Laura said, my name is Alex. I'm a student success librarian, and you are? I'm Laura. I'm a student success and engagement librarian, and we are gonna be doing some Mario Kart. So you also will be able to join us. We'll have our friend code available in the chat. Just use a command exclamation FC to get the friend code. You can add us on, um, on the switch, and then we can include you in our race. Yes, Laura and I are very competitive, only when it comes to Mario Kart. So please enter and try to take us down. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, first let's do some local races while okay. we wait for folks to join us. I think I saw Colin playing Breath of the Wild, so maybe he'll switch over and join us. Ooh, Breath of the Wild is such a great game. It's amazing. We'll, oh we'll, yeah. We'll get into it. We'll, we'll talk about Breath of the Wild. Um, who's your character? Oh, my character is a uh, uh, Peach. Peach. And yeah. more specifically, Cat Peach, because they made a Cat Peach, which is <laughs> so crazy. You gotta use it. Yeah, exactly. Let's Wait, see. why am I? Ha oh, there we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which one? Which uh, airplane? What? what Apparently, you? nobody plays. Mario Kart in the VR lab. We're coming to you live from the virtual reality lab. Um, Laura and I are wearing masks and we're socially distanced from each other. But nobody plays Mario Kart in here because we have no go karts. I just have to go to class. I know. I don't know what car to pick. Ooh, look at this little thing. It looks like. A, is that a shoe? Is that supposed to be a shoe? Okay, let's give it some like nice like racy tile tires like formula one tires we have a, a question what ncsu library would each mario character study at luigi would definitely be at whatever library is haunted <laughs> um, and hill is the oldest library so i'm assuming luigi would be at hill probably on like the ninth floor somewhere deep in the stacks looking for ghosts um, where do you think Peach would be? I think Peach would be, uh, I think she'd, <laughs> this is so, so I think she'd also be at Hill. I'm going to say Hill. Hill? Yeah. Helping out, greeting the students, being super welcoming and regal. Yeah. Uh, someone said, or Armad said, Mario and Luigi would be at Hunt because of engineering. True. Oh, true. oh yeah. True, true, true. And lots of pipes. What about, <laughs> what about, <laughs> <laughs> Which library would Wario and Waluigi be in? Ooh. They'd be in like the basement. <laughs> Cooking up a scheme. The basement. In the basement somewhere. Yeah. Definitely. Um, who else is? Um, Daisy would have to be at Hill too. Yoshi would be at VML. Yeah. Yoshi would be playing around with the green screen. Making yeah. some cool beats as well. Yeah. Oh, um, Shy Guy would be hiding in a personal study room by this himself. Is, this is going to be so hard to like talk and play this game <laughs> at the same time because I'm just going to get, oh god, okay, this is a warm up, so, so, so don't judge me, don't judge me based on Laura, like... do not embarrass us. No, no. On our Mario Kart Oh god. I have not played this in forever, so like I forgot how to throw things. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. What game have you been playing? Um, What's been taking up your time? So, the game. Awesome. Oh, real quick. Lara has a personal Twitch stream that no! she won't tell anybody about. Oh, uh, so maybe someone. You're, you're, <laughs> don't tell people that! <laughs> but nobody knows the name, so. No, nobody, nobody knows! <laughs> Um, the game <laughs> she has 18 million followers. <laughs> yeah, really, I wish. Um, actually, maybe not wish. Um, but what game have you been playing? So, I've been playing... <laughs> this is going to sound so bad. So I've been playing Apex Legends. Yes. Which is a first-person shooter game, a battle royale. And, uh, yeah, I'm just super obsessed with that game. 
<laughs> you've been obsessed. The last time I talked to you, you had you were just starting to play it. Yeah. Have you gotten even better? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't say I've gotten like super good. I'm I'm obviously not very not like good good, but um, I can definitely win a match, so that's something. And um, I can actually hit people, so so yeah, I think I've gotten pretty good. So one thing, oh blue shell, come on, who does that? Oh uh, god, I'm like so, this is warm up, this is warm up, I'm getting used to how it is to talk and play this game at the same time. <laughs> That's what's happening, okay? When I was in undergrad, I didn't have a video game system for a long time, mm -hmm. so I took a break from like Nintendo GameCube until the Wii U after I graduated, and on the Wii U, like I didn't have very many games, so mostly like the classics. Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, uh, Mario, Super Mario for the Wii U, with like him and Luigi. So they were like super fun games, super classic, but they didn't require much like skill. And like they kind of just guide you through the whole game. Yeah. Um, they required skill, but like timing and, and learning the levels, not so much like really learning the game. And then recently I started playing Breath of the Wild. And like you have to, you develop a different type of skills when you're playing that game. You know, yeah. like how to maneuver through the game quicker. And it's really cool to like see the progression. Like you can feel like I didn't know what I was doing with the first boss, and now they're so easy. Yeah. Um, as you go along. That's so true. Apex is neat. Yeah, Apex is neat. Would also follow. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just, I was just kidding about the stream. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, winning a match is super impressive. Um, I'm, I. Have you won? No. Oh, winning a match in, in, Apex? in Apex? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I meant winning a match here. Yeah, yeah, I have won. Um, I will say I've won like playing with my brother and like he definitely carries me. So, <laughs> so you got you win as a team? Yeah. Nice. I haven't played but Halo 3. Super fun. Oh and yeah. Else, so playing teams back in the day. I think he's been my brother has been playing Halo. Um, like they came out with a with something? All the old games out. Who's talking about? <laughs> Somebody? I would never like playing first person shooters uh -huh. because like I would play with him and he would like play against me and he would always win and kill me like within like five seconds and so but now that we have to play on a team together it's much more. Alright. What what makes this one different? Aside from, you know, we play on a team. Um, I really like the characters that they have. Like they have characters and they have like special, each character has a special ability or a couple special abilities, um, and it's like really fast paced. And um, the maps are really cool, and it's not like the like the it's not hard to like figure out what type of like the different types of guns and stuff. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's more it's more Woo! fantastical oh, than oh, like gosh. a Call of Duty, right? Yeah. Like it's it's more futuristic. And yes, and there's like a I mean I'm sure I know Call of Duty has a story, but uh -huh. like, there's like a nice like a cool story. Is it aliens? No. No? Oh. Not aliens. Oh. That's one thing that... So... Breath of the Wild is my first Zelda game that I've played. Yeah. And just like... Now I'm super interested in like the lore and the story. And yep. how they built oh, the shit. timeline. Oh! And like I really want to go back and figure out the rest of the story. Like I don't even know much about like Ganon. So I'm super excited to go back. But that's one thing that's like the storytelling in video games has gotten so amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean like even like Apex is a first person shooter, but there's like a story kind of a story with it. Gosh, uh -huh. I keep falling! <laughs> Oh shoot! Somebody asked, um, where, who would be in the design library of Mario Kart characters? Oh, design library. I, would feel cool. I feel like Toad's a good painter. I feel like that's what he does in his off time when he's Mario. Definitely seems like a painter. <laughs> uh, maybe Shy Guy as well. Baby Bowser. 
Oh, baby Bowser, oh my god. He brought a building like some cool little parts. Yeah. I've not been paying attention to the chat. Yeah, Breath of the Wild Spellbreakers. is amazing. Yeah, Yoshi at Vet Mid, that's for sure. Uh, Lakitu looks like a professor in like chemical engineering. Yeah, I'm really bad at the hang glider and uh, I don't know why I keep falling. <laughs> and also now I have to look into this game called Spellbreakers. What's that? I don't know, apparently it's a, for, it's a battle royale, third person. Oh, okay. Magic. I love magic. Yoshi at that med for sure, yeah. I'm catching up, sorry. How do you get the boost? When you drift? Like the, when you're drifting? Oh, no, no, no. Oh! I'm at the, oh, um, So, when I was, I was a librarian for an elementary school, and I would bring Mario Kart at like the end of the semester, or right before the last day of school. Oh, that's and so nice! I would always wonder how you got the boost from the start. Uh -huh. And the student, she's in third grade, and she goes, you just start at two. Whenever it hits two, you hit the A button and hold it, oh, and then you'll get the perfect boost every time. Okay. And from that day on, you get the boost perfectly. Huh. Yeah. That's what I love about Mario games. Like, I think from, I've heard this, so take it with a grain of salt, but apparently it's very music oriented and like counting, counting beats. So you could actually play through levels depending on the music, like if you jump during a certain time. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. I wouldn't be surprised by this. Yeah. And then there was a there was a Netflix documentary about gaming and they were talking about the dude who made all the sounds for Sonic, I think. Ooh. And he has like crazy synthesizers, um, synthesizers that you can check out at the NC State Libraries actually. <laughs> he wanted to make video game sounds. Um, oh shoot! And he like told me. I story. can't sing. Sorry. And <laughs> this is this is I like this. Uh, at UCLA they had a video game ensemble, a band <gasps> that was like Ooh. school affiliated I think, but like a student group, not an actual, not the actual band. And they would just play music from Zelda, Mario, Sonic. Oh, really cool. oh. No. So any band people out there, if you want to start a video game ensemble at NC State, I think that would be amazing. Yeah, I think we should do that. Okay, somebody should do that. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I can't see. This is so bad. Is it? Oh, are the controls coming back? Um, sort of. <laughs> Not really. I think I figured out how to drift. So ah, what is going on? Yeah, if you drift and you toggle back and forth, you'll get you'll get like oh, a nice shoot. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! What the heck? What Grand Prix did you pick? <laughs> this is what? a 150. <laughs> what is this? Oh god. This is shameful. No! Jeez Louise. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If we uh, if we could start here, get out of here. Oh, then <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I'm amazing at this game. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you kept this from me this whole time you're planning this. I love Mario Kart. Oh it brings my me gosh. so much joy. Oh um, my I was gosh. I said this in my last stream. Mario Kart. When I if I win, I don't get excited because that's what should like. I don't, I feel upset if I don't win, oh which my is gosh. not good when my little brother is actually better than me. Oh. And he's like naturally better at me than, than me, and it makes me so frustrated because he's 12 years younger than me. And oh, wow. I start like blaming the game. I'll be like, how come the blue shells only hit me? And then oh, I just realized I sound like a sore loser. Oh yeah, I got the boost. Sometimes, sometimes orchestras will do video game music. I wonder. Yes, if I um. Yes, I um. Like deep pack or something. I went. Yeah, I went to one. Did you um, really? Yeah, for uh, Zelda.
Are so, you serious? Mm -hmm. was, it was it so amazing? cool. It was amazing. <laughs> they had music from Breath of the Wild. Oh, Jesus, this is ice. Where, uh, where, where did you see it? Where did you catch them? Uh, when I was still living in Buffalo. Oh, nice. Yeah, they, um, it was an orchestra, and they like showed clips of the game while they played the music from that game, and it was so cool, and yeah, it was really fun. They do that. I forget what it's called. It did they have been. video, too? Yeah. Like in the, oh, really? Mm -hmm. They had it on a projector behind the band. And they just played like clips from the game? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Gameplay, yeah, I mean, I mean, so it felt like, you know, you were playing the game and... I'm sure they would come to Defect. That seems like the place. I feel or, like they maybe, probably have. It maybe was Charlotte? one of those, like, tours, like national tours. Yeah. I want to see a video game one and I want to see... Sometimes they'll do like a movie. Yeah. Um, like The Matrix. And then they'll have the orchestra on the bottom and play the movie. They, it just seems like it would be so much fun. Oh my gosh, what if I, oh gosh, no, we could just switch to Apex, let's just play Apex. <laughs> I'm super down, we should, well, Laura and I will be playing video games all semester on wellness days. Yep. Um, so we should totally bring Apex Legends in. We should, it's coming to the Switch in March. So Is it really? Yeah, maybe next Ooh. month. Woo, heck yeah, look at all those bumps. Oh, shoot, <laughs> I ran into a tree. Oh god, I'm still in seven. Oh. You know, we should have started with some easier maps here. <laughs> we'll, we'll go back to 50 CC. Oh, uh, I mean, 100 is where it's at. That's, ah. As soon as we finish this race, we're going to be looking at our friend request if you want to play with us. Um, our friend code should be in the chat. What's the command they put to put in the chat? Uh, command FC. Command FC. F is in Frank. Frank. Um, FC for friend code. I'm just going to keep asking you questions as you're in like the throws of oh my God. The, the middle of the pack. Ah! <laughs> <Just striking. laughs> this is so bad. Oh my God. Wait, are you already done? Where am I? <laughs> I came in six. Okay. That's, that's not bad. That's, that's bad. respectable. It's respectable for sure. Video game orchestra VR friend code. Yeah, there's our VR friend code, VR studio friend code. You can friend us. Um, looks like Techno Botanist is about to join us. Oh, yeah, Waluigi time. Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, the blue, the lightning, and then the blue show right after. That'll drive a sane man um, wild. Yeah. Uh, be results. No, I don't want Let's to get the see. results. No. Uh, not to talk too much, Ugh. but you should get used to seeing me on the podium. Oh I'm my like, god! I'm like Lewis Hamilton of Mario Kart. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh my god. So, to shamelessly plug an event that we're doing, and you'll find this super interesting, um, our next State of Sound Stories on Thursday on the same Twitch channel is going to be with Gina Martinez. She's worked with a bunch of different festival companies, um, score more shows. They did like Astro World, um, the big Travis Scott Festival. She did Dreamville Festival. Um, she managed everything from like location permits, fence permits to when like Jeez. J. Cole packs up and leaves at two in the morning. Um, <laughs> and of course right now everything's all messed up with COVID. But because she got laid off um, or it, the score more shows wasn't doing any shows, She's going to be doing the Formula One race. She's managing the whole Formula One race in Houston whenever, whenever the next one is. Yeah. So, uh, and just briefly talking to her, and I'll wrap this up real quick so we can grab friends. She was saying that her husband works at a school, and for that week they turned the school, I guess like the, the basketball court, into a helipad so that super rich socialites could helicopter in, go to the race, and then helicopter out to wherever they're going. Oh right. my yeah. god. So definitely tune in because I'm sure you got a bunch of questions about, yes. about that. Yes, once that race, once, if that race is in person um, and they have fans and it's all safe and everything, like I am going, nice. I'm going. Nice, Oh, this is good. Yeah, we'll talk, let's Oh let's my find gosh, some that's friend. amazing. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that wild? Like, yeah. Like, don't music festival, but she got, so she created her own festival, Neon Desert Music Festival. She's like co-founder. It won an award or something like that. Oh my and like, gosh. I know just managing, for example, a Twitch stream is stressful sometimes. So imagine like literally something that's gonna take over the streets of a giant city, traffic, permits, 
super rich people. Yeah, that's Formula insane. One racers. Uh, right. So, uh, so uh, we're gonna have to talk later. <laughs> she can do me a little favor. Hey, CPK. Get me into that. Uh, um, into the what's it called? The pit. Very impressive track record uh, for. Oh, wait, did you play oh, online two player? I didn't. Let me. Oh go my there. goodness. My bad. But I don't know how to go back from here. It doesn't. Friend request received. Oh, yay! Somebody else is going to join yeah, us. I think we have to. Let's go home. Uh, DRville. Friend list. No, I think you gotta go. There's a friend for the friend request. Add friend. Oh, here we go. Friend request. Hey, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Become friends. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, another friend request. So many friends. <laughs> yes. Friend request. Claire. This is super fun. I wonder. Okay, can someone put in the chat how we get all of our friends together in the same in the same race? I think we have to go. Um, do we have to do something? Yeah, here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Um, I think we get into the thing. If you ran into Lewis Hamilton at the Houston race, because I score us all tickets, what would you? What would the, be the first question you ask? Uh, I don't really know. Okay, so, I mean, wait, how do we get out of this thing? We're just uh, watching. We're watching. Maybe hit home and then quit the software and then we'll Okay. Enjoy. We'll try this again. Yeah. Sorry. Troubleshooting, troubleshooting. Um, I don't know. What would I ask him? To be honest, I really want to meet Daniel Ricardo. He's my favorite racer. Where's he from? Uh, he's from Australia. Nice. So, <laughs> all right, we'll so if I met forward. him, um, I would just like tell him how much he looks like my brother and <laughs> how much I love him and think he's hilarious. And um, I don't even know. I don't even know what I would ask. I have to think about this. Okay. So what we do? Um. Hmm. Let me select online and then I'll find you. Select which player will host the race. The other players will join the host's world. Okay, okay. so do I have to select a second me? Maybe pick the. Yeah. Let's do that. Yes. Okay, guest me. Okay, and then, and then we'll do friends. Yeah, that's right. Heck yeah! Create room. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, and then we pick. And then I think we wait for them to join our room. Yes, once we've. Meow. Meow. Cool, I'm glad it gives us a notification when someone friend requests us so we can go grab one. Yeah. And then. There's me and you. I'm not sure. And so then they join us? All right, see if you can join Lara and I's race as soon as, whenever you're finished with yours, we'll wait a little, because I think they might be playing already. So they might have to finish their, their race. Anyways, Daniel Ricardo. Yeah, Daniel Formula Ricardo. He's... So, start from the beginning. How many races are there? Because I don't know anything about Formula One, but I'm fascinated by it. Just uh, like, yeah, so um, I don't know off the top of my head how many races there are. It goes, like, the season starts in March. Usually, like, the end of March is the first race. And then, like, every two weeks there is a race um, until, like, December. And with, like, maybe, I think, a month break in the summer. Um, and so, yeah, so that's basically, so it ends up being around, like, 20-something races. Um, the one in Austin, it happens in Austin in uh -huh. Texas. That one usually happens in October. Um, and yeah, then they're, they're all over the world. 
Um, because of COVID, like, the schedule has been different. So, like, for example, usually the first race is in Australia, but this year it's going to actually be towards the end of the season. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically how that schedule works. And they're yeah. all in different parts of the world? Like, they, yeah. they fly around the world and race really fast cars on streets? Uh, some of them are street races, some of them are tracks. Gotcha. So like Singapore is a street race, Monaco is a street race. Uh, there's a couple others, but those are the ones that I remember. And then the other ones are actual... Yeah, so the one that happens in Austin it. is a track. It mm -hmm. happens at the Circuit of the Americas, which is a big track that I guess a lot of other races happen at. Yeah. So... And that's... I, so I've seen a couple movies on Formula One racing. I, the one where two people are rivals mm -hmm. with each other. I forget mm -hmm. what it's called, but it's a really, really cool movie. Oh, they gosh. actually start with like go-karts as kids, right? Yeah. And they, you progress through the ranks and they have like the minor leagues when it comes to Formula One racing. And yeah, there's like- that, then you move up. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Daniel Ricardo. Yes, that, that is, that is probably the right link. And then, so we're waiting in our room for anybody who would like to join us. Yep, that's him, that's Daniel Ricardo. He's 2021. so funny and so nice. I, I mean, I've never met him, but. And there's only like 18 races, racers, or are there more? There are 20. 20. 10 teams, two racers for each team. The stream lag, I think it's actually easier if you join a worldwide room. Okay. Oh, okay. So we'll let's do try that. that. Worldwide versus. And we can join whatever room you're in. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Yeah, first start race starts on March 28th. It's so soon. I'm so excited. In Bahrain. That's yeah. cool. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Oh. Oh. We got booted from the room. We'll try again. How come it keeps doing that when we try to do. Worldwide, huh? Maybe there are the 23 Wi-Fi races city. this year. Yes. Perfect. There. Yeah. Look at this. This has turned into a Formula One stream. <laughs> Mario Kart and Formula One. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I, I mean, like we're really, racing. We're yeah. talking about racing. You just don't get to throw bananas. Unable to connect to the other consoles. Uh oh. What is you that? What is? Uh oh. Let's see. Maybe. Uh oh. We'll... Techno botanist, do you have any ideas? <laughs> it's fitting for the game. Yeah, the network is kind of iffy today. I don't know. Oh, man! Uh, all right, we close. Oh, we have three more friend requests, I think. All right, well, let's add some more friends and we'll see if we can get this. <laughs> oh, no, there's three friends online. Oh. All right, we're trying to find you, friends. We're trying, we're trying. And so it's not super big in America yet, but it's it's huge worldwide. Like Europe, Africa, the Middle East, yeah, Asia, they really like follow it, and it's it's a big sports league. Yes, it is. It's really big around the world, um, but it hasn't really caught on in the states. But there's this Netflix series, which is what hooked me on to rate on to Formula One, called Drive to Survive which goes behind the, behind the scenes of like the Formula One races and the grids and it's really cool. And I'm waiting for them to announce season three because usually it comes out about two weeks before the first um, race of the season. And uh, so yeah, so if you are don't know anything about it or just interested in it, I would definitely recommend that series. It is so good. It's called Drive I I to time. Survive. I think I've seen it, like the, the icon kind of. It's so cool. It's just, it's just amazing. I saw NASCAR was they were they're implementing new races where it's not just in a circle where they like go around the track. And I thought that was a smart. Idea. Yeah. It's more fun. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get more spectators to like see that, oh. Um, Techno Bonus said he got into a room and you can just join via the friend tab now. Oh, okay. Let's see. DK. Oh. Oh, okay, we'll try. Buxton, we're joining Buxton's we're joining Buxton. <laughs> Friend tab. Buxton, we're trying to join you. 
Technobotanists, if you can join us. I'm getting the same error message. Okay, yeah. so that that makes me feel better that it's not like we didn't do yeah, something maybe it's wrong. <laughs> it might yeah, just be a server thing. Everybody, our stream oh. got so popular that everybody is playing. This that that one didn't work either. All right. Well, I feel like maybe. Oh man. Let's try a couple. Let's try another like solo race. Not solo race, local race between you and I. Okay. And we'll see if maybe like the server thing fixes. fixes. We'll do oh yeah. Server. Also, NASCAR has raced at Watkins Glen for uh, for years. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, Watkins Glen is is a nice little racing place that I actually have never been to, even though I used to live semi close to there. Is that local? Yeah, oh, it's a it's like uh, I want to say three hours away from Buffalo. Uh -huh. um, my parents always used to go there for the like for a weekend in the summer um, to go visit the wineries. I like. Uh, All right, let's pick an easy one. Easy? Let's do one of the <laughs> legacy ones because I know those circuits. All right, let's do. Let's do this one. Actually, oh, gosh. Let's We'll start from the beginning. All right, all right. Starting super easy. We're gonna do this. I like competitions that carry points over. So hockey does this, the English Premier League does this, I think uh, Formula One where you get certain points based on how you finish. In soccer, it's like three points yes. for a win, one point for a tie. Do they get, so like first place will get the most points and mm -hmm. so and so down. Yeah. So you can like, st strategically, you don't have to win first every time. Yeah. You can get fourth, third, and it's just a matter of points, right? Yes. So that's, a, yeah, that's the thing is like, uh, first 10 play, first 10 finishes um, get a, get points, some level points. Uh -huh. So like if you're in 10, you get one point. And so you want to get top 10 no matter what. Yes. Um, and then there's, uh, there's two aspects to like the championship, so like, a racer, a driver can win like a world championship for like themselves, but the team, which is like who builds the car and everything, yeah. also has its own separate championship that they win, and it's called like the constructors championship. And so like both your play, both the drivers are working towards like helping with that as well. And so like any amount of points can really help because that race is usually pretty tight. So this is where it gets interesting because you want to beat your partner. Right, but you also so want to each score team, the most each, points for your team. Each company has two racers. Mm -hmm. And so that like adds into the strategy yes. as well. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes they'll favor one racer over the other, mm -hmm. um, depending on you know whatever the strategy is, which is like, can cause some tension, as you can probably imagine. Yeah, Lots so of drama. That's part of the, the yeah, the drama, the play of yeah. the whole thing, right? Is like teammates beef with each other sometimes. And then of course they're all beefing with each other, like all the different teams. Yes. Um, and then so some of the things are like Mercedes, Ferrari, uh -huh. Red Bull, um, McLaren. And they're allowed to spend kinda like in like they have different salary caps, right? Um, like Ferrari can spend more and maybe like Red Bull. I actually don't know about that part too much. I don't know if there's a salary cap. Usually it's because they just have more money. Yeah, so like, they're able to put more resources. There's definitely um, an issue in that like the teams with the more money obviously are doing better they and then they money. just get more money yeah. because they're doing better. Um, and so I think they're implementing a budget cap gotcha. which is gonna try to level the playing field. Yeah, because if you have the best driver and then you have the best car, right? Like, and that I've heard some people say that like Lewis Hamilton is so good right now that the drama isn't as fun because he doesn't have like a rival that's you yeah. know competing. He doesn't have the like the Utah Jazz to the to the to the Bulls back. In the are day. you explaining F one? Yes, I am explaining <laughs> F one. We are talking about F one. Um, <laughs> we're talking about it because we're racing. Yes. Because and I'm an F1 fan and because the state of sound. Oh yeah, state of sound stories on Thursday. We're talking to Gina Martinez. She's thrown really big festivals, music festivals like Astroworld and Dreamville. Um, and because music, is, music festivals aren't gonna happen for the near future, her next venture is the Formula One race in Houston. And I think she's probably planning for the one that's gonna happen in October. Like, 
Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. Um, it happens in Austin. Yeah, and so I'm sure they're figuring out fans, if they can all be together, limited the number of tickets. So yeah. we're going to be asking about all those questions. And then also, I feel like I'd be good at Formula One. Just go kart <laughs> racing because I'm really good at Mario Kart. <laughs> oh my god. I do want to go. They have these, these uh, go kart spots around town um, that you can go for the day, and I don't think it's super expensive. I like race go karts. Yeah. I want to do that. It'd be a fun team activity once we can all hang out again. Yeah. Like team building. Oh <laughs> or gosh. team destroying, depending <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, yeah. Oh, that would be really fun. If we're looking for department team building activities, racing, go yeah. kart. Go kart racing, plus Mario Kart. That's what I recommend. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna try, you said it starts in March. Yeah. Let's see if I can follow along this, yeah. Do they televise? Does it? Can you watch the the races live? Or are they fun to watch live? Or? Yeah, you can watch them live, but because they happen all over the world, sometimes that's at like three in the morning. Yeah, kind of um, when the World Cup. Yeah, um, but they're they're all they're usually on ESPN on one of the ESPN. Ah. Um, there is also which I'm gonna have to get because I don't have cable anymore. The Formula One app, which uh, you can stream them stream the races from. So be... I'll be getting that subscription. <laughs> Since we're in the in the VR lab, that experience of like being a Formula One racing driver, I'm sure there's an app for it for the for the VR headsets. Well, they do like uh, they have simulators, mm. and um, they do like there's a virtual Grand Prix that they've been doing with the Formula One game, and usually they're all up in like they're like. Racing from these like simulation rigs, I think, or something. Someone, someone else might know better than I do about mm -hmm. that. But you can practice on those things. Yeah, they That's do. Awesome. They do like practice and like um, try to like prepare for a race. Yeah, that meant you've gone so fast into a sharp turn. You have to like oh, yeah. know and prepare when that's gonna happen. Exactly. Like they literally like I think have these tracks memorized. Ooh, fourth. Colin says project cars for VR. There you go. Yeah, we have to we'll have to play around with it. That'd be really cool. Didn't expect the Utah Jazz shout out. <laughs> Who likes the Jazz? Jazz, the coolest logos in the NBA. The old school one. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Um, which is funny. I always wonder. They must have come from like New Orleans or something oh, to get the name, but like they, see, they use like the note because it'd be it'd make more sense to be like the New Orleans Jazz. Um, but they must have sold the franchise or something happened a lot. I'm sure there's a good story behind that. And somehow Utah ended up with it, which I don't think is the jazz capital of America. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they have cool, cool jerseys. Interesting. The Trailblazers. Ugh, sweet, sweet canyon. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm warm enough. You, I saw, I saw you, you were creeping up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> come in, come in. Yeah, for the materials, um, we got some video materials from Gina yesterday and it was like the video recaps of all the festivals. Oh my goodness. And I just had this like, like we were there, NC oh. State Libraries were there for the Dreamville Festival. It was so much fun, it was super positive. Like, they couldn't wait to come back. Aww. And then, uh, hope it happens with, who knows, hopefully with everything going on and spring coming along, and the vaccine being pushed out, like, hopefully we'll be back out there soon. Sooner than later. I hope so. Cause you actually have tickets to Rage Against the Machine, right? Yeah, nice. supposedly. Have they updated you about anything? I don't think so. <laughs> no. like, is, it, is it this summer? It's, they said they were rescheduling it, yeah, for next oh. year, but like oh, I haven't next heard. Year. Or no, 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 like last year they oh, said okay. next year would be, yeah. would be this year. Um, but I haven't heard anything, so I don't know. We'll see, I guess. 
I mean, that was going to be amazing. Yeah. Mm. Especially in these times, like the energy in it. Yes. Place, it would be incredible. I've never been oh. to a show at the PNC. I want to go catch a hockey game and I want to oh, see yeah. a concert at the Worship Show. I went to a concert there. It was pretty good. I mean, it was, you know, a standard, like, arena show. Mm. Oh. But I still haven't found since I moved down here. And because, you know, COVID hit and that kind of, like, changed everything. Um, I haven't really found like the spots to go that are like for like smaller shows. Yeah. I don't know where they are. So, uh, Emerge unfortunately closed due to like COVID and everything. Ah! But they were a really good spot for like local artists and uh -huh. people doing like the like starting out. Um, Kings and Neptunes are both really fun. Um, they also have really good music. Uh, for like DJs and stuff when they're not doing live music, but definitely Kings and Neptune, that's right kind of town. Ruby Deluxe has a good DJ. Um, no place I've been to. I see a lot of people when, when their war shows coming to the Ritz. I've never been there. Yeah, I know. Red, exactly. Red Hat Amphitheater. That one too. Gosh dang it! <gasps> that's the worst when someone pushes you <laughs> right at the end. Gosh. Yeah, there's a there's a festival in California, like a reggae festival, Cali Roots, that's close to where my hometown is, mm -hmm. and they're selling tickets for 2022. In the oh. Summer. And I kind of want to like buy it now so that I'll totally forget about it, and then next time I'll be like, hey, I have this ticket, like. Or yeah, something. or have something to look forward to. Yeah. Like that's the thing is like I wish like I could. I mean I probably could, but it would probably most likely be like the next year yeah um but like just trying to get something to look forward to yeah and, that, and stuff. that ties back into like our wellness day like thank you for joining us but that's one thing that i've noticed is definitely missing from from my life and i i put it into a different perspective now because sometimes like you don't oh, even remember no. the show because you're so in the moment and you're just having a good time you know like but yeah. even the build up, the build up to going, if you're traveling yeah. somewhere, like getting the hotel arrangements or Airbnb, being excited about that, and like your group of friends or just whoever you're going with, like that can keep you happy and like not stress out for a month because you're like, oh, I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to a super cool show. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is not... <laughs> this is not good for your mental health. No. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna game soon, what the heck? Because I am just... We'll play Among uh, not Among Us, but uh, Animal Crossing. There you go. That's a nice chill game. <laughs> no blue shells. That's probably what we should have done for <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, but... After this tournament is over, we'll see if we can put them Yeah. And if you'd like to add us, we'll put our friend code in the chat. Oops, where am I going? Where am I going? Did you fall off? Is that you? Almost. Ah! Oh, there's water there. Okay. 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 I'm gonna get better. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> I'm coming for you! Okay, okay, okay. Get out of the way. We just heard a library pool about who rage quits uh, in any of the streams. Uh, gosh! To give a shout out to the to the our Twitch channel, thank you, Claire, Colin, everybody on the Twitch team, uh, Megan, for allowing us to do this. Megan, Chloe, Abby, Andrew, 
Um, and on Friday, we're actually doing our first collaboration with the Origami Club. And they are really looking forward to sharing what they do in their club and sharing some of the designs they make um, with their craft. So definitely tune in on Friday. If people are missing live music, is there any good Twitch content you'd suggest? I've been... I have not watched any live music content on Twitch. Yeah. Um, a lot of DJ streams on Twitch. I don't know any specifically, but a lot of people are like live DJing. Yeah. Um, I've been watching a lot of interviews on YouTube with musicians to kind of try to get to know people a little bit better, and that's been that's been fun. There's a good Pharrell interview. Um, I think Noisy did it on YouTube. Hmm. Um, that wasn't too long ago. Yeah, my my uh, pandemic life has been consumed by video games. <laughs> But yeah, if, if anybody uh, knows of any music Twitch streams, throw them in the chat for sure. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, online see. play to work. Come on, Nintendo, <laughs> get your stuff together. Oh, it looks like... Let's see if we can join Colin. Meow. I love that she meows. <laughs> Did you play Super Mario Odyssey? No. Um, I started it and then I never finished it. It's a fun one. <laughs> I have it. Along. Yeah. The worlds are huge. Yeah. I'd get frustrated because I couldn't find all the green stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. This doesn't look good. Oh. No. Nope. Dang it. <sighs> no luck. Oh my god, earn your Nintendo online fees. Seriously, what the heck? Meow. Meow. I'm gonna meow every time she meows. Yeah, our video game labs are not open at the library right now because of COVID, but all of our video games are available for checkout. You can check them out for a week, and I think you have a renew on that checkout as well. We have games for PS3, PlayStation 4, what else? Nintendo Switch, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Um, yep. Yeah, you can check all of those out. You got any PS5 games? No, <laughs> not yet. I think we should, though. We should. We should. That's a good point. I wasn't even thinking about that until we get the console. But maybe we can just get some games at least. Um, yeah. For people to check out. That's cool. If, if anybody has been. Have you been following the Cyberpunk 2077? Oh, like, yeah. Drama and saga? Mm -hmm. That game looked amazing from the commercial. Yeah. Um, I guess they had a bunch of problems rolling out, but I wonder if they fixed those by now. Seems like um, I don't know if they have. Yeah, my one friend was playing it and he was telling me that, I don't know, he was getting a really bad frames per second on, or FPS on that mm -hmm. when he was playing it for some reason. Um, even though he's got like a, a really good graphics card. Huh. Yeah. And it's a PlayStation 5. Yeah, well on PC he was oh, playing he's it. Oh, he's playing it, okay, gotcha. But yeah, I have not. I don't know if I'll play it. Yeah. There were a couple games when they were announcing all the trailers that looked really fun. I have to go back. Yeah, um, we got that game Godfall. Mm -hmm. um, it was not great. No. <laughs> at least we did, I, At least um, my husband didn't like it. Yeah. Have you played uh, a lot with it, the PS5? Um, I was, so this is the, so, like, I have this issue when I play games, is that, like, I have, like, game, like, like, I just get distracted by other games, so I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and mm. I got, like, halfway through, and then I just stopped and started playing other games, <laughs> like Apex, <laughs> and The Sims, and phasmophobia with my friends and so I haven't gone back to it and it's like it's it's like that happened with the same with the Assassin's Creed the last one. Mm -hmm. It's like I played like half of it, then stopped for a while. Is it because the, the and then I went so back big? and then finished it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like I just like tend to stop playing a game and then go back to it later. Yeah. Same as 
Tomb Raider when I played that. Do you do that with books too? Um. Do you like stop a book and come back to it later? Right sort of. Yeah, for the. Oh my god! I just got hit like three times! I was doing so well! Ugh! Sorry. <laughs> I got really mad because I'm like trying to talk and then freaking three <laughs> people came by! I'm the opposite. I have to, whatever I start in games or books, I have to start and finish it before I can move on. <laughs> I did it! Um. <laughs> Thank you, um, chat, for commiserating with me. Yeah, I, I have been really bad about reading lately, to be honest. But yeah, that's me a whole too. Another story. I just have not gotten into a book in a really long time. Yeah. And um, I actually, I don't usually hop from book to book. I usually finish the book I'm on, but mm. for some reason, I hop games a lot. Gosh. Yeah, I found that over the pandemic, if I finish a book, I have to start another one really quick or else I'll just not read for like a month until I go back to it. But if I can just like immediately pick up the book after I finish to get into it, then I'll, some, most of the time I'll be able to go through it. I tried reading this book about Puerto Rico and like the history of it, mm -hmm. and it was just so economically dense that I couldn't finish it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's about how like their banking system is tied to ours, and it was a lot. It, it was a lot of like depressing stuff too, so I wasn't in the headspace for it, but I'm just trying to go back to it. been winning this whole time. <laughs> so like on the on the sharp turns hit the drift and then if you counter it it'll give you like more boost. Drifting's the name of the game. Oh gosh that was not a good drift. There's the Yoshi level where it's pretty much just a series of turns and you can like almost drift the whole the whole course. Ooh, oh! <laughs> no! Oh, you got him. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! The secret, secret sauce. sauce. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I rarely ever complete a long game. <laughs> yeah. It's. After a while, you just need something else. And then, like, maybe Switch like a up. year later, I'll go back to Come it. Come back to it. And wrap it, it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm feeling with Brett. Breath of the Wild, because I'll finish like one segment and then zoom out and be like, I just spent three days exploring this little woods area. Yeah. And there's like literally 16 more parts to the map. Like, Alright, I'm gonna get this drift. I love that game. I am getting on the podium! <laughs> this must be what Mercedes feels like. <laughs> my tires! My tires! Do you watch a uh, MotoGP too? No. Apparently hey, that's really fun. They have like, like there's a there's one of the racers who's really good, but he got hurt because he like flew over the handlebars and he tried to come back after two okay. months. Um, but his little brother was doing really good in the in the minor leagues of the racing, the MotoGP motorcycle racing. Mm -hmm. And so they brought him up, and while his brother was out, who was like the Lewis Hamilton of MotoGP. Um, the little brother started winning races, and so now they're both like, competing against each other. Oh snap! Yeah. Gosh dang it! I can't drift. 
I do really want to try the. They have like a steering wheel and a pedal. Oh, yeah. really cool. Or like the old. Uh, I think Mario Kart for the first week had. You look like a nunchuck and a steering wheel. is really outpacing you, Laura. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gosh. Xenoblade Chronicles. That's another one that won a bunch of awards for the Switch, but I've never played it. I've never um, played that one either. I heard it's really good. And I think there was, there was good representation of um, people with access needs in that game, mm. and people with disabilities. Oh, that, was, that was really cool. That's one thing Nintendo needs to step their game up because they don't really have as many adaptive controllers or allow third parties to make uh, controllers for them. Oh, um, yeah. Keep an eye out for our Raiders of the Lost Arcade where we focus on games where they represent folks with disabilities either positively or negatively and just takes like a different like, approach, a different look at it. Look at you promoting all these events. <laughs> so smooth. Bring it back. That's good. Woo! Okay. Got that boost down. Got the boost. Now I just need to get the drift. This one, this one annoys me because I always get caught. <laughs> this one takes me back to uh, my GameCube days. GameCube. You remember Double Dash? Yes. That was such Freaking a fun love game. love Double Dash. I would use uh, Baby Bowser because when, ah! when you got a special, he would throw like a giant shell. Like, yeah. It was amazing. I also loved like right, like being the, the second person in the back and just punching people. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck am I doing? What the heck am I doing? What the heck? There's something. Are you trying to hit me with a red shell? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny is when you look back at like YouTube videos of those games, the graphics look terrible. But when we were young, we were like, this is so new. Like, this is amazing. I know. I wonder what we'll think of like 10 years from now. Right? Like how much better can it get? Like games are going to be implanted in our eyeballs. <laughs> Colin's very happy to me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's right, that's right. <laughs> this is a map I know. I'm not good at this map. This is my jam. This is my jam. Look at me go. Look at me go. <laughs> So, the most annoying thing to me to get hit by in this game is the boomerang. Because like, you can't see it coming. Oh my gosh, I, I, I don't even know. Oh! Jesus, Jesus! Get it, get it, get it. I'm so 
No, 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 if anything happened just before I crossed the <laughs> you might not have come back. No, I, I would have to leave. <laughs> it's uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, super good, definitive game on the Switch. All right, definitely gonna check it out. And I think we have it at the libraries. Let me check, see if I can find it in the catalog. Yay me! Uh, Woo! That's it. We're like. <laughs> Oh man, I am gonna get on the podium tied for second place. How many races are up? That's it. You got on the podium. Trophies. I made it Trophies. on the podium. Amazing. Trophy okay. team. Next one, I get first place. Ha ha ha! Look at that. Look at our highlights. I don't know. Craziness. Yay! Second place! Oh. Hey, we got more vehicles too. Cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Da, 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 da. Heck yeah. I'm gonna switch it up. Switch up the character. Let's do what I used to do. Waluigi. <gasps> Waluigi! Okay, fine, I'll switch it up too. And do Baby Peach! <laughs> <laughs> I oh gosh. So cute. Baby Peach is going to go Oh on this little thing. Mark oh, racer. Some cool red. Tires, I think, would be good for this. We gotta get more gliders. Yeah, we need more gliders. Ooh, so we do have Xenoblade Chronicles X. I will put a note to request that we get Xenoblade Chronicles for the Switch as well. Thank you. Uh, you pick which one? Uh, what's the uh, the the leaf one? The leaf. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. I know okay. three out of four of those tracks. This is my time! <laughs> time to shine. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Got a little sunshine peeking through the clouds. Oh, I hope it gets warm soon. I'm tired of oh, nice. The other day it felt really nice. Kind of like uh, a trailer for spring. Yeah, it's so, like, I'm still getting used to, like, living here and, like, it being February and everybody's already, like, spring is coming! Right? And, whereas, like, back home it's, like, winter's still going for another three months! Yeah, so I guess this isn't so bad for you. You're from Buffalo. Yeah. Or Buffalo area. I'm from California, so this is, this yeah. is possible. Yeah. <laughs> Although I would like to see this. I know. I've like been playing with my friends online and they're always like, you know, we'll be playing a game and they're like, oh, it's snowing again. And I'm like, dang it, I miss And like good snow, snow chunky flakes and I know. dry snow that sticks. My one friend um, tried to tell me, it snows in North Carolina. And I'm like, it just, it just doesn't snow. I'm not calling that <laughs> snow. Buffalo must be a fun place to play video games because it's just dark and cold yes. for so long. <laughs> and you just like, <laughs> get the couch blanket. Yeah. Stay inside. Ooh. Yeah, I remember when we first got our Nintendo 64. It was like, woo! So would you and your brother share consoles? Yeah, we yeah. would share consoles. Um, yeah, it was my like my parents got it for my brother, and like <laughs> so funny. I was like terrified to play video games. I mean, okay, so he was probably like seven and uh -huh. I was like nine when we got it. Yeah. 
And I was just, I don't know, I was just so terrified because I was afraid to lose and I didn't know how to play. Uh -huh. And then one day, my brother's playing like Diddy Kong Racing and he's like in the middle of the race and my mom calls him to like come eat or something. And so he just like puts the controller down in the middle of a race and just gets up and goes to like whatever. Uh -huh. And I was just standing there and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> it was calling you? You're just like... The, it's still the, the race is still on yeah. and like you're just sitting there and people are <laughs> passing you you can't do that so then i picked up the controller and, and finished the race for him nice and, and that's, that's how you found love with video games yeah that's a like, great oh, origin not story not so scary yeah <laughs> and then so you would join your brother after? yeah so nice. he would play he would beat me i would get mad uh-huh and that's, that's how it went <laughs> that's it and then you get over it and play again uh, yeah. I was always envious because, like I said earlier, my little brother is 12 years younger than me. And so, during like the formative gaming years, it was kind of solo. But I would always be envious of my cousin who had little brothers and I could just play with. Because they're so much more fun when you play with people. Yes, they are. That's oh, it was game. so close! Ooh. They are. They are so much more fun. And then they could get different consoles because they were more kids and then, you know, they would always be asking. Um, I was always limited to one at a time. Yeah. But uh, that's cool. I remember going over to my cousin's house to play video games was like literally all I looked forward to. Aww. And so much fun. They had different games like GoldenEye and uh, yeah. Pokemon Stadium. Oh, and I had the so good. He had the N64 and so we would just go back and forth from each other's houses. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, we were a Nintendo family for yeah. a while. Yeah, and then my brother um, got the Xbox 360. Uh -huh. And I never really played that until, well, I guess, yeah, I played it a little bit. And then he, like, when I went off to, when I went off to grad school and moved out, he, like, let me have his Xbox 360 because he had an Xbox One. A nice. Yeah, actually, because my little brother's so much younger, like, we've always been close, but our our moments when we can, like, really connect with each other have been over Mario Kart. Because we'll play super late into the night, and, like, because we can, like, distract ourselves with, like, ah, Busha, we can get kind of deep, you know? It's, like, kind of like playing catch back and forth, where <laughs> you're really talking, but you have, like, the motion of playing catch. And, uh... There's definitely a couple of summers when I would come home from undergrad and like really got really close to my little brother because oh. we would just bond over Mario Kart. Yeah. He had the best. Whoa! Please, I keep getting hit by people. Oh. Can you imagine if you decide to have kids one day and like, you get to show them video games. I know. <laughs> you get like watch them get oh better video games. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It'd be, yeah. yeah, and like surprise them with the console one day. Because you remember those, like when you come home, and, or like, or if they took you to Toys R Us to, to get a game on a console. Oh yeah. It was the funnest day in the world. Growing up, I lived across the street from Toys R Us. Are you serious? Yeah. That seems dangerous. It was so fun. We would just go across the street and just hang out in Toys R Us. I'm sure like the employees hated they, us. They like, knew you. <laughs> like, remember, back in the day, you could like get the skateboards out and like yep, the bikes and yep. just ride around. And ride around the store so, and then get yelled at. Yep. And then, um, we would uh, we'd play the demos in the games video game section. Um, Classic. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, remember they would have the demo games where you could play like one level of thirteen different games. Yes. And they would have them at like Kmart and Toys R Us, and you had to like bend your neck to look up at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> My mom would leave me at Kmart for like two hours while she shot, and I would just play the same demo over and over again. And she'd like, just stay here. <laughs> don't, don't go anywhere. <laughs> yes, ride the scooters around. Ah, oh, such a good time. I heard that they closed all the Toys R Us stores again for the second time. Like they closed them, reopened them, and then closed them again. It's too bad. 
keeping old games and consoles for my children is a partial reason I keep them. Same. Definitely. I thought I have a, a Wii U and I just like can't part with it. Also, it has um, I have Wind Waker for mm -hmm. it, which is my favorite Zelda game, and so I'm like I need this because what if I want to play this game again? Yeah. I heard uh, also that the Wii U didn't sell very well, and so it's kind of one of the more rare Nintendo consoles, so maybe it'll be like worth something someday. Oh! Well then, maybe I should hold on to it. I love watching that pro- I had the Wii U as well, I really liked it, because I just thought it was so cool to be able to do it. Yeah! To like, have the screen and like, have a whole gamepad. But I love the progression from that to the Switch, like, there's no question, the Switch is like the console. Oh. I love how Nintendo is like, we can't really compete with like the graphics and certain types of games that the PS and Xbox are coming out with. Like, let's just do our own thing. <laughs> and make things really fun. <laughs> this one's always tough. There's too many things going on at the same time. <laughs> Oh jeez, I got squished! <laughs> it's so dramatic too, it's like, you're all wobbly. Oh my gosh! I was in third place! Dang it, dang it. Get out of here, Luigi! Get out of here! Oh no! Oh no! Is there a blue show coming? Yes. No! Okay. I passed you! Yeah, you I was yes, 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 yes! Oh, I like your cart. It's like the old school merry-go-round. Yeah. Whoa, 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 not getting squished again. I am not getting squished again. <laughs> Ooh. The drifting thing is just not working for me. It's eluding you? It'll come. I just can't do it. That was a good one. Right oh, dang it! I thought that was the last lap! <laughs> I'm so excited! No! Tiny oh, Toad. Toad Get out of here, Toad it. <laughs> oh shoot! Those freaking I'm just getting destroyed by it. This race without you. <laughs> right. We'll we'll view the highlight reel while he comes takes a break. <sighs> so yeah, Mario Kart. Um, really isn't much to say about Mario Kart except that it can bring out the rage monster in all of us. Like. And I'm really bummed that we couldn't get the, the online play to work. Of course. Oh, look, there's me! Baby Peach! Look how cute she is! Ugh, I just love Peach. So, my, um, my thing with Mario games is, like, I only play as Peach. Because she's my favorite, and I love her. And, um... Pink is my favorite color. And she's just so, so adorable. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was wild. 
Aww. A little dancing. So nice. Ooh. But yeah, so, um. I don't really know what else to talk about. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good reason, yeah. Well, thanks. When I play Mario games, I either go Boo, Dry Bones, Luigi, or Daisy in that order. <laughs> that's pretty good. The um, Dry Bones is so, like, what game is he from? I don't know what game he's actually from. We yeah, were watching the highlight reel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I decided not to start the race without you, even though I should have. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. This one is the this worst. This one's like, confusing. So confusing. I don't know where Dry Bones originated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think he would be in the like lava levels of the old Mario games. Oh. Like when you got really, when you got close to Bowser, maybe. I don't know. He does seem like he would be that guy. Yeah. Follow me. I know he's in this race. Oh my gosh, where am I going? <laughs> it's so like, it's this board. Like you never know what place you're in. Yeah, look at this map. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Someone's just they you know, like, scribble. The amount of detail in these levels though, like sometimes I'll get distracted by looking at the side, the waterfall, and just like what's over there. Yeah, get out of my way, Toadette! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Get out of here. Gather. Gather! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wonder if they'll make a new one. Mario Kart 10. I know, like, what else can they do with Mario Kart? Yeah. When it seems one, like, I feel like this came game. out, like, a while ago. Yeah, because I had this for the Wii U. Yeah, Wii U. Same game. It just had less characters. And then they kind of just remade it. Oh, Mario Party as a young kid. Oh, yeah. Such a fun game. All the mini games that they would have. Yeah. I haven't played the new one. Um, I have. It's pretty good. I yeah. love Mario Party. Uh, Mario Party is like how Mario Kart was with me and my brother. Mm -hmm. Like me and my cousins and my brother would always, whenever we were all together, and like my cousins live in Florida, so like we'd only see them, you know, once a year if yeah. that. Um, we would just play so much Mario Party, like stay up super late, just playing Mario Party all the time. It's so fun, like a board game, but a video game. Yeah. Oh, With mini no. games. Who doesn't like mini games? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no! Oh, Mario Party would be a good event game. It would. That's, yeah. We should do that. We should. We should. That. If we could. Can you play an online party with Mario? I'm sure you can. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I don't. I haven't actually tried. If Nintendo's things work. People say dry bones are undead Koopa Troopas. Ooh, oh, I like that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jeez, that's kind of gruesome. <laughs> you think about it. From the Mario Zombie game. They dun, should dun, do dun, a dun, Mario dun. Zombie game. But it would be like a like cute zombie game, you know, yeah, yeah, not yeah. scary. Like a mixture of Luigi's Mansion. Not Mansion's Resident Mansion. Evil. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, how could we design a Mario zombie game? 
Like, who would be the zombies? Maybe like Bowser. Ooh, Bowser. And they're Let's all dry bones. <laughs> oh, I came in second place! Nice. Didn't even know this. Oh, wait, no, I'm not Cat Peach, I'm Baby Peach. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> I did we'll come in second place! <laughs> Plants for a zombie, yep. Shame. Should we try the online again? Let's see. Let's see if it'll work. I don't know. Oh. I'm not optimistic. I wonder why. I wonder if it's because we're on the- Plants vs. Zombies crossover. Yeah, I've never played that one. Sorry, well, everybody. We'll figure this out for next time. Yeah, I wonder. It must be a Nintendo thing. Yeah. I don't know why. Let's do... Did you ever get the friend cones working? Yeah, we just tried, and um, it's still doing the same weird error. Yeah. Our friend cones work. Ooh, look at Ooh, that, Mercedes! Mercedes. I'm oh, mad at that. Let's try it. Friend codes are working, we just can't get online for some reason. Yeah. Raving Rabbit. Didn't they do a Mario Rabbits crossover? I think they did. Yeah. Uh, oh, then I wouldn't really. That's what you're saying. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. I heard that game was really fun. Yeah. Oh, did I not press OK? Oopsies. <laughs> what are, what's going on? Why is it doing that? I don't want to do single race. Oh, yeah, no. My bad. We want to do a Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Now I have to go. Let's see. Wow, Luigi. Ho ho. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's do uh, the turtle shell. Turtle shell. All right. Oh, we did this one. Oh, we did. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Let's do. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. DK Jungle! I love DK Jungle! <laughs> That's a classic one they brought back, right? Yeah. So good. Were you not allowed to play certain games? Growing up? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> my parents, like, you know, my parents are, um, uh, I feel like they didn't know, like, being immigrants from another country, yeah. and, like English as their second language, they had no idea what games we wanted. They were just Lucky. like, okay. <laughs> My mom would watch the news and be like, this game is gonna uh, make you bad. So, no Mortal Kombat, none of the fun God. games going on. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe not that idea. I don't know. But my cousins would have it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like my parents are just like, whatever. I also had super strict restrict. I had to like, I could only play for 30 minutes at a time. Oh wow. Yeah, a day at some point. No, look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, where, what the heck is this? I don't even know if I'm playing this right. Get you! Oh. Got him! Oh, do you know how to hold the items behind you so you don't get hit? Yeah. Okay. Is that just holding L? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, did you did you send it? No, I didn't. Oh, I, was about to say. I thought. <laughs> oh, I didn't send it, but I thought. Not even. Can we go in those holes? Oh, yes, we can go. Woo! When I was little, little, my older cousin would tell me, like, hey, take that shortcut to the right, and it would just put me in like, out of bounds. Uh, but he would always trick me. I'd always watch it. Oh, I'm 
<laughs> I remember, I think I convinced, I think when we were younger, we convinced my mom to try playing Mario Kart, like on the N64. Uh-huh. And I just remember her, like, not freaking out, but just like, she was like getting, well, I guess like freaking out because she kept going on the grass. Yeah. She was like, I got it, I got to get off the grass. <laughs> He is just cracking up. So evil, evil, yeah. I've perfected the evil laugh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ooh, Splatoon 2. That'd be fun. I've never played, but I think it'd be super fun. How did you get banned from WoW? Did you get banned? Oh, someone got banned from WoW. Let me play banned as a real sense. <laughs> For shame. <laughs> oh gosh. Now's my time. I hope. <laughs> I just needed like an hour to warm up. Yeah. So funny story time. I went on a date with a with a gamer. Uh huh. And I told her that I play. Uh, we played Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers. And then she never asked for a second date because uh -huh. she's like really into games. And I don't think she was like, I don't think this isn't gonna work. Like, what? We play different games. <laughs> you only play Nintendo games. <laughs> oh my God! Who so, would have thought? I was going for the brand this time. What? Serious It is. I mean, she's like part of the gamer community and went to tournaments and stuff. And I just wouldn't know. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Wow. I know it was intense. I didn't really know how to keep the conversation going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like uh, my husband didn't tell me that he played WoW until like until you know. We were like a couple months into the relationship. Until <laughs> so you couldn't just leave, like. <laughs> Until I was invested. <laughs> You're like, oh, I really like you. That's no problem. And then he was like, yeah, I play WoW. That's and I was funny. like, oh, okay. I've never played that, but like, you know, there's always that, the, what people say about yeah. it. It's not yeah, like. The stigma that comes with it. Yeah, which is yeah. dumb. Yeah. Um, and, uh. Did you all bond over games in the beginning? No? <laughs> did he know that you were again? Did you tell him that you were Or again? no, actually we did. Yeah, because that's what I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the first time he um, came over, I was like... <laughs> I set this up kind of perfectly so I wanted to get it, like, you know, I, ha I had to make sure that, like, he was into games. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's important. Yeah, so I was playing Breath of the Wild uh -huh. on the Wii U because I had gotten it. Like, I didn't have a Switch yet. Like, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm a gamer. <laughs> That's awesome. Such a good How game. How did I get it? That's been like a thing. <laughs> so How sad. It was sad, but it's all good. Everything works out in the end. Yeah. My husband still plays WoW. It's pretty intense. I never realized. Right? As long, I mean, like... My my roommate would would play back in undergrad, and he would also feel the same stigma when it came to telling people. Mm -hmm. So he kind of kept it to himself. But like, it seems like as long as it's not detrimental to like your your life, you're just doing what you want to do. Yeah, and so many people play like. Yeah. Like, as long as you're on workout, like you hear those stories of people who are supposed to be working, and they're just like on wow. Oh day. yeah. Uh, 
I don't know, you're not doing that. Or become a librarian, you can play Mario Kart on Twitch. Yeah. During the day, during wellness days. Oh, my controller's not working. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure what happened. Now I'm blaming the controller on that player. <laughs> but no, my controller's not working, that's why I lost. Talk about my Mercedes. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. This is such a pretty map. Isn't it? Yeah. I wish these places were really you just like drive around. Ooh. Ooh. They should make Mario Kart. Do you remember that Simpsons game Hit and Run? Yeah. Like Crazy Taxi? Yeah. The, the game I right love now. that game. That was such a fun game. That was so good. I didn't they even watch the Simpsons, but I loved that yeah. game. Yeah, you gotta pick up all the characters and drive those into, like mini missions and stuff. Yeah. That was a, a classic. Oh my god, Mr. Plow. That was one where I don't think I don't know if I ever bought it, but I would rent it at Blockbuster like religiously. <laughs> so it was saved on my memory card. Now just get different types of oh. ah. But they should make that game, but like Mario Kart. We just go around drive people everywhere for coins. Uber. Uber for Mario Kart. Uber, Mario, Uber. Mario Uber. Yeah. <laughs> you are mine. Oh. Come in for you. I keep confusing you with Toadette. <laughs> like Battling. We're both tiny and pink. Oh, blue, blue shell coming! Oh, man, you're not in first. <laughs> oh, I would. I mean, I did! It was you! <laughs> and it's still hitting me. <laughs> yes! My fire worked! If I look at the corner of my screen, I can see. Put your body on the <laughs> Careful, you can shut me down. Oh, <laughs> me and my brother, when we play online together, we'd be like, don't hit each other with red shot. So we can at least get first and second. But sometimes that's still. Oh, <laughs> oh I forgot. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna go. No! No, I hate when you. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Who drops a banana? I'm gonna play Simpsons Hit and Run, yes! So good. <laughs> oh gosh, Alex, you better not be going easy on me driving on mm -hmm. the grass. No, I'm, my, there is like a little drift on the controller. Not enough to, to make it a big difference. But sure, I sure. I swear, watch. Drift. Watch when I don't touch it, I'm telling you. It'll start going like sway. <laughs> this happened last time. Oh my gosh, you still have hit and run? Classic. I only ever drove around the first level doing random things. Wasn't there was a mode too called Sunday Drive? Where it wasn't like the game where you had to like pick up people in a matter of like in a certain amount of time. You could uh -huh. just drive around the map and do whatever and pick up whoever and And just take them places that they want. <laughs> yeah, and just go drive into things. I like that. I would do that a lot. See look. See? It just turns that way. Oh, wow. Mm. Was there really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it was called Sunday Drive. That seems so relaxing. If you still have it, you should check. <laughs> Remember, Crazy Taxi was fun in the arcades. Are you a fan of places like Dave and Buster's? Arcades oh, yeah. For, for <laughs> yeah. Dave and Buster's has this really cool game. It's like not VR, uh -huh. but it's like. Um, it feels like it is though. It's the the like Tie Fighter, like Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a curved screen. That, yeah. Yeah, you like lock into. <laughs> and there's it. like wind in there. Yeah. So make it feel like you're actually flying. Cool surround sound. Really, I like a one ride. of the Star Wars movies came out and they put it in the movie theater. Dang it. Oh really? Yeah. It was really cool. That was a fun. Place. 
Because you remember movie theaters used to have video games too? But yeah, that's true. While you were waiting for your movie Gosh, stuff. I just forgot what movie what theaters life was like. <laughs> even look like. What? They had games? And then what Get out of my way! <laughs> What was the classic driving game that was at all the pizza parlors? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, 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 cruising. Yes, Cruising USA. Cruising USA. That game was so much fun. That was so much fun. And if you, like, drove through I think they actually it, had it for the N64. You could go to the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember my buddy had it. Yeah. And he was like, I made it to the moon. And I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Thank you, you're lying to me. And he's like, no, I swear. The last race was on the moon. I still don't know if that was I think it was. I feel like I've heard that before, so it might be. There's that game, Rampage was really fun. The we got a my partner Brittany, we got her dad um, Pac-Man, but the stand-up arcade version of Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, oh. for Christmas. Oh wow! Yeah. And he still has the high score on moves, so like every time I go to my party, I try to beat it. Huh? No. There's, well, there are people who are so good, they like memorize, like they know exactly where the ghosts, what their trails are, and like... Yeah, and it, it's know. it's harder than I remember. It's like a... Those like old school games were really difficult. Oh, that's I'm determined! I'm determined to win! <laughs> you gonna hit my banana? No, I'm not! <laughs> not hit the banana! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what was that? What was that? Will you be getting Super Mario 3D World of Bowser Fury? Ooh, what is that? Is that for the Nintendo DS? Or is it for the Switch? Probably for the Switch, I'm thinking. Maybe? I don't know. Ironically, my cousin and I would try to perfect be perfect drivers in the Bay Traffic Cause. Yes! Yeah, that was always fun. Yep. Yeah, I would do that too. That was always super fun. Okay, here. I next door and I air and I never made it, and I get off and I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just got a noise complaint, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try to speak a little bit more. <laughs> How funny is that? Oh my goodness. She's going to be more over here hooting and hollering. Woo! <laughs> oh god. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm disturbing the peace. <laughs> I wonder if they chatted in to ask us. I know, right? They're like, what's going I'm on in the VR lab? <laughs> I didn't know we were being so loud. I didn't either. I guess I forget like how much it like tra <laughs> sound travels through here. She's like, I hear this maniacal laugh next to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's this one. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Clipping that. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more oh, yeah. race and then I got it at 2.30. Bum, bum, bum. This has been fun to everybody out there. Thank you for watching. The libraries are open. Let's see if I can get an updated version. My computer just died. Um, the libraries are open. You can reserve a room. There is single occupancy at the moment. We also have long-term landing laptops. We have cameras that you can check out for long-term. Anything you might need for your audio-visual projects or just for your your personal hobbies, um, and yeah. Whatever you might need, whether it comes to textbook chapters I'm or sorry. technology, or just a place to study, we have you covered and reach out to us with any questions. <laughs> I still can't believe what we got. That's so funny. Oh gosh, I'm just, I guess I'm being too loud. <laughs> And she's, she, was, she was actually worried. She's like, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a cool classic one. Ooh! This one? Yes. Animal Crossing? Yes. For the last one? Cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. That's so funny. 
I know. What are like, you What are you thinking about for lunch? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like wondering if I should go grab some food. I feel like I should. Yeah, since I'm out and about. Might as well pick something for the Ooh, I love this. I don't like this one. It's so chaotic. I love it. <laughs> I love it because it's so chaotic. Oh. Yeah. I ate too many chicken wings for super good. So, I'm going to try to eat healthy this week. Yeah. Oh shoot, oh shoot, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Because <laughs> only one turn. We're gonna have to soundproof this one. Oh, no. Which is funny because I think this yellow thing right here is actually soundproof. Or it's sound oh, definitely. condensing. <laughs> I'm gonna see trouble. I'm just like there are people in here meeting for like, what is that yeah, boy? Kind of she's all listening to music, she was here screaming. Kind of like she had. That's kind of like. I'm not to laugh Oh my god. Don't play Minecraft. Hey! Uh! <laughs> Isn't it? Because it's level nuts. Fun. Ooh, there are cats? Oh my <laughs> god, I'm definitely getting this game. Um, yes. It looks like it's cat themed. Oh yeah, I'm getting that. Definitely. I'm getting it. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. I can't believe it is soundproofed. Cheese land. Cheese land. So this level I despised, and then until I fell in love with it. <laughs> Everything's just, there's like a bunch of shortcuts. You can oh great! <laughs> I don't know. Nothing about shortcuts. I just trying to learn how to drift, and I can't do it for <laughs> the life of me. <laughs> Track's so narrow too, like yeah. you slide off to the and side. And what are those things in the middle? Like, am I supposed to hit those? The little pot holes? The cheese holes? No, like the little things sticking out of the cheese. Oh, I don't know. The little <laughs> bean thing. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be over there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
no. I'm coming. I'm trying to hop on the cheese hole and I can't. I hate Swiss cheese. <laughs> What is this? I feel like you and Luigi have been fighting this whole time. We have Ooh. been. Woo! Alright. Gosh. Dun, 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 dun. Super Mario World is where Cat Peach comes from. Oh, they add an extra level with a cat wave. Yeah, the little lanterns that spin you. Yeah, like, are they so, like... Oh, are you supposed to run into them? I don't know. Yeah, you kind of run into them at an angle. Ooh. I think if you go ahead on it. Gotcha. No, I'm good. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, what's this one? This, I forget. Is this Halo? No. I think the next one is in the process. Woo! That's right, I got a piece. Got a boost. Get out of here, Big Peach. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not today. Dang it. I'm like afraid to say anything now. He's <laughs> probably <laughs> no, she's like, excuse me, let me go see what's happening. <laughs> just to be, just to be sure. If that game's coming out for the Switch, I definitely get it. Yeah. Dang it. Not my race. Not my race today. Last race. Oh gosh. Last race. When's our next uh, stream? Uh, next wellness day is March. Um, it's like the 13th something. or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's cracking my neck. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna say hello, Are you buying this one? No. That's like, oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> that's a perfect snowboy. <laughs>
Animal Crossing characters are waving at us. <laughs> Is this a village in Animal Crossing? Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Move it. Get out of here. Move it. No! Move it, princess. No! <laughs> oh, I just zoomed myself. Oh, no, 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 no! See? See what you get for fire me? Blue shit. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, I was like, you know what, blue shell? That's life. Sometimes you're cruising along and the blue shell just comes out of nowhere. Oh, it's got it. March 5th. March 5th? Nice. Oh, last time this level was played, it was fall. I was wondering if it changes based yeah. on. Yeah, it goes like summer, spring, time. fall. Oh, and then that's and cool. And then they're all different. Like winter's at night, summer it's all day and sunny. It's cool. Oh, I, I didn't love. get the podium this time. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Wow. Oh wait, or did I get, oh no, I didn't get the podium. Should we wrap this up? Yeah, we will wrap this up. Thank you all for joining us and our Wellness Day stream. Um, are there other streams happening today? Uh, does anybody know? I think so, usually. Um, if you wanna post what those are in the chat, that would be super awesome. This was so fun. Thank you for streaming. Yeah, we'll be back March 5th yeah. doing something else. I don't know <laughs> what yet. Um, but Lama's probably not play Mario Kart. For probably now not until Mario then. Kart since um, it, we've received our noise complaint. Yeah. So um, <laughs> probably should avoid games in which cause media. Screaming. Yeah, it's a lot of screaming. Six to eight is a makerspace stream, so be sure to come back and watch that. And yeah, it was nice hanging out with you guys. And we're just gonna gonna end things now. We'll and see you later. Yeah, we'll see you later. Have a good wellness day. Take a nap. Goodbye. Adios. <laughs>